Hey, it's your boy Jay, and in this video, we are going to talk about my options trading setup, all right? Because it makes it a lot easier the way I trade options um, rather than going into the options grid and, you know, figuring everything out from there on Thinkorswim. We're going to be using Thinkorswim's TD Ameritrade platform, and uh, we're gonna, I'm going to show you exactly how I set my charts up so that I could see the options on the right and the chart on the left. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. We got no time to waste. I know you guys got to be somewhere tonight or whenever you're watching this video, but um, let's go watch, let's trade Tesla, right? Let's just pretend we're getting into a trade on Tesla. We're on the uh, TD platform and we just have our chart up, right? Because this is how it comes standard. You have your chart and that's pretty much it. You might have like an active trader on the side. Um, but what we're going to want to do is click this right here, okay? Click this top right thing, um, the little square. Click that, and then you're going to do a double grid. So right how I have it, make sure it's highlighted um, on the top, the top left, those first two uh, squares. Click that, and now it's going to look something like this. So what you can do is actually drag this over a little bit because um, pretty much what we're gonna have on here is our options contract that we're looking to trade okay so um, do that and now next step is go find the options contract that you're looking to trade for that day so let's say for example um, Tesla closed at 2000 around 2010 um, let's just say we're gonna pick up the 2000 calls okay we think Tesla's going back up to the moon, um, so we want to get some calls. Let, let's just use Tesla 2000 calls for an example. We'll use this week's expiration even. Um, so let's scroll down. Now this is the part where you just find your contract, and uh, this is the one that you're going to be wanting to look to get into, right? Because you, you did your analysis, uh, you know what strike you want to pick. Um, so let's just do, for example, 2000. So these are going for 80 bucks, $8,000 per contract. What you want to do when you found the strike that you're going to look to day trade or buy, whatever, um, just right click it, right click on the ask if you're buying the contract and go down here, send to, you see where it says send to, um, basically what this is going to do is link this, uh, contract to a chart. So um let's do that let's do send to red or pick whatever color you want pick your favorite color um i just do red because it's the first one and i like to keep things simple so i do red um so make sure you right click on the ask i'll do it again right click on the ask all the way down here is going to be send to send tesla and that's just the contract information send to red and then we're going to go back to the chart we're gonna go back to the chart and check this out. We're gonna click this little uh, link thingy right here. You're gonna click that, and now we're gonna click red because we just clicked red on the other page. Now to link it to this little grid, we're gonna click red. We're gonna click red and it's gonna bring this wacky looking chart up. Um, we don't care about the chart. I don't, I'm not looking at the options chart. I'm looking at Tesla's chart, the actual Tesla stock not this options funky looking chart <laughs> so um, on the right over here you're going to see chart is clicked you're going to unclick it all right now there's going to be nothing oh my god there's nothing did i break it <laughs> no click active trader okay um, and then click level two so level two at the bottom is going to show you um, the bid and the ask so you'll easily be able to see the spread on these contracts and see um where the bids at where's the ask at um and now look you have the tesla 2000 calls on the right of your screen right next to the chart so you could see if you need to be quick um, if you're day trading you can easily just buy and sell these contracts while still looking at the chart not having to flip through the options grid and the different tabs just do it right here um so that's pretty much what how I do it. Um, and then you could drop this down right here and have your quantity and stuff. Or if you don't wanna even click the drop down thing, we can edit it right here, all right? So you can edit um, 
you just drag it. You see it where it says second line over here? You just drag quantity um, with buttons. You just drag it above and auto send off. You could drag it right above and click OK. And now you won't have to click that bottom thing, the little arrow. It'll just be automatically there. And um, let's say, you know, when you click it, you don't want to uh, have that little confirmation window pop up. You click auto send. And now right when I click here, it's just going to put it right. Um, so, yeah, that just got rejected. But um, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is my setup for trading options. Um, and it's a lot easier than flipping through the trade grid and, you know, placing it right here on the ask like that. Um, it's a lot easier to do when you just have the chart right in front of you and you have the options that you're looking to trade right in front of you as well. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And you could add as many of these as you want. Like I could just copy this, for example, we'll do that. Um, and you could just, you know, whatever contracts you're looking to trade, um, you could just keep making new little grids and post them up like that. So yeah, that's how I do it. That's how um, I found best, how it's working best to get in and out of options contract pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't suggest you do buy market um, on options if you're doing multiple contracts. If you're doing one, yeah, you could get away with it. But if you're doing like 10, 20, 100, um, and you do buy market, they're going to give you the worst prices available. They're going to give you the highest price available, that means. So I suggest you always put a limit order in um, and, uh, yeah, go go like that. And also another cool thing, if, you, if you're someone who needs to be watching your P&L, which I don't really recommend, um, but I'll just show you how to do it. You click this little wrench. It's going to be really small right here at the top right not this one the one below it all right it's even smaller <laughs> you click that you click customize and then you click p l open right here on the left and you add it to the the right side click ok and now when you're in a contract it'll show you your p l on the side all right so that's a little cool little hack to show you um your little p l and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the option setup that I've found um, easiest um, and the quickest and simplest to, to use. Um, just having it right on the right, have the chart right in front of you, and boom. If you want to get in, you're just hit, hitting the bid. Um, if you want to get out, you're hitting the ask. And that's it. That's the options trading platform. If you want to learn more in depth about options and how options work, um, if you're brand new to options, you have no clue what the hell I'm talking about. Well, I put together a beginner course. This video is sponsored by my options course, which you can get linked down below. It's the cheapest options course you'll ever find. And one of the best. It's very simple, straight to the point. Like I do this, th these free videos on YouTube. Um, they're just straight to the point, no fluff, and uh, it's the most affordable options course you'll ever find because there's people out here selling them for 5000 and 500 and you'll see that my price is a lot cheaper and the quality is pretty much the same as a $5,000 course. So I'm going to stop plugging my course now, um, but if you like this video, if you like this uh, platform setup kind of thing, Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, I'll post more of these, and uh, let me know what you think down below. Do you use this same setup without even having to watch this video? If you do, kudos to you, because it took me a little bit to figure this out. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys are doing well, and uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about options, link down below.